Hey, welcome back to my channel, All Things Unkempt. I'm your host, Austin, and today we're drawing a scene from a movie I enjoy, A Clockwork Orange, for the old Stanley Kubrick film. Um, this scene is kind of iconic. Uh, I think, I don't know, I've seen it a lot, um, and I've seen this scene all over the place, and I was wanting to draw, I was wanting to draw an eye, and I felt like that's kind of boring and maybe a little bit overdone so I I don't know the idea just kind of popped in my head to do a piece from this scene so I hope you guys like it let's go check that out all right and here we go uh, before we start uh, I want to mention that I got some new paper uh, some paper I've been looking at getting for a bit. I knew that I wanted a more um, smoother surface uh, and I had been looking online and a lot of stuff was saying that Bristol is good and I don't currently have Bristol or at least not smaller sheets. I have some bigger sheets from some old art classes I took. Anyways, this is B Paper. I think that's the company's name is just B Paper. Bristol vellum surface and I like it it's pretty good uh, it wasn't life-changing like I was hoping it would be I don't know if that has to do with the cost um, I don't know I don't know maybe there's better quality stuff out there I know there is a Strathmore paper Strathmore 600 series uh, Bristol I would like to try that though I don't know maybe I'm just wasting my money at that point anyways uh, here we go. Yeah, so this scene is from A Clockwork Orange. If you haven't seen that movie, um, I would say go for it. Uh, it's it's definitely a rated R, hard R movie, and I don't know. It's it's uh, it's really interesting. It's a really good look at humanity, I think, and its darker parts and. Um, of course, there's a lot of weird made-up stuff. It's kind of uh, fantasy-esque, almost. Um, and the scene I'm drawing is a scene where they are kind of trying to reprogram the brain of our main character, who's kind of a bad guy, does a lot of really bad things, and they think that, hey, if he's the model, model citizen for this program, we can reprogram his brain by forcing him to watch a lot of really awful things, um, and that way... He'll never ever want to do those things, and those things will always make him repulsed. So the way in which they do that is they force him to keep his eyes open using these things called an eye speculum, and pretty much just subjecting him to films of horrible, awful things. This scene's pretty iconic. Uh, just, I don't know, the his facial expressions, his acting is really good. They really did hold his eyes open for um, that scene. Uh, something interesting I saw was that uh, they they drop eye drops on his eyes while he's watching stuff in that scene, and I don't know. I guess I always thought you know that's just part of the movie, but um, while it is part of the movie and it does kind of play a little tiny role in that scene, they also had to do that because if they didn't his eyes being open for as long as they were during the filming of that scene they literally would have dried out and there's a chance he could have gone blind from developing some sort of thing like cataracts so I just thought that was interesting uh, it was a little difficult drawing this actually I work from reference here and there I worked from reference on my last drawing this one was a little more difficult because there it's an older movie think it's from the late 70s maybe early 80s so there just aren't good high quality images of this specific scene there's a couple that are okay like 1080p ish but I didn't want the full scene which is you know you can see you know him they're sitting in like a theater I just wanted his eye because I wanted to draw an eyeball and originally I looked up eyeballs and then I looked up um eyeball speculum in use which came up with a lot of really gross surgery uh, pictures I wouldn't suggest looking that up but you know you got to do what you got to do for research 
I don't know, I was kind of bored because those people are undergoing surgery, so they're probably unconscious in some way. So the eye is just looking straight ahead. It's just kind of dead. There's no emotion. I'm, I'm not really sure how or why this scene popped into my mind. I suppose it, I just, I don't know, I, it just made me remember it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect because he is not happy when he is going, uh, going through that reprogramming and he's, you know, he's very jarred by what he's seeing on the screen and he's trying to look away and look anywhere else he can. It's a, it's a really uh, emotional scene in a weird way. Um, definitely unnerving uh, to say the least and this I don't know this shot was just perfect the way he's really almost trying to close his eye that's why there's like so many folds and wrinkles and stuff but they're you know being held open and then he's kind of looking off and he's being lit up by this pretty one directional light bouncing off of the theater screen back towards him uh, that being said, the reference I had was not good quality because I had to zoom in on the eye so that I could just focus on that, and it was pretty pixelated, so I just did what I do and used my artistic license that I got from art school. That's right, if you get an art degree, you get an artistic license, which means you can draw anything however you want. <laughs> so it's a little bit off, it's a little bit distorted. Um, the, in the original image, it falls off to the left a lot sooner than it does in my uh, my paper. I drew the eye maybe a little bit too much to the right, but I, you know, you can fill in the gaps. It's pretty easy. Something else I realized while doing this drawing was that I probably should have used more lead grades. I spoke a bit about trying to simplify them in the last video, just because it's such a pain to go back and forth, back and forth, and constantly be sharpening them. Um, also, there isn't a wide selection of grades in these uh, pencils I'm using. Uh, the reason I say that is just because, uh, I don't know, I couldn't quite get stuff as dark as I wanted, and that's probably the paper, it being a much heavier, harder paper, um, 265 GSM. It, it doesn't pull off as much of the lead from the pencil as a rougher textured pencil or paper would, so I need to use darker grades. I know that in the future now, and I've actually been thinking about trying some new techniques in the future that would help me achieve that. Uh, another issue I was noticing is my lighting. I haven't really changed much between drawings for my lighting, um, other than you know from my earlier videos. But as you'll see in a bit, as we move on to the right side of this drawing, probably like the, the right fourth of the drawing is actually darker than it ends up looking in this video. And that's just from the light reflecting off of the graphite. And part of the reason it does that is again, I'm not using enough of pencil grades. So I'm pushing much harder than I should to get a darker value. Um, which causes the wax and the binders or whatever in the lead to smooth out, making it much more reflective. Whereas if I used a softer pencil, say an 8B, which I use here in a moment. There it is. Um, it's much flatter and darker and it doesn't reflect light nearly as much. And that pencil is also a carbon pencil, so whatever, it's a little bit closer to the charcoal. But I know that now, I'm still happy with the re end result. You know, I was actually kind of thinking, maybe I should do some more scenes from Stanley Kub Kubrick movies. Um, been a big fan of his movies for a while. I don't know, there's probably some really cool stuff in 2001 A Space Odyssey, because there's so much in that movie. It's a long movie and it goes a lot of different places. The Shining, there's probably some interesting parts in there, but uh, similar to this drawing, I don't I don't want to just do a scene, you know, the full shot, a uh, full aspect ratio of the scene. I'd prefer to do something that is just a piece of a scene, similar to this, trying to capture uh, kind of the emotion and the moment of the scene. Not really sure. Uh, 
what I would do next or if that would become sort of a series. But hey, uh, I don't know. Who knows? That sounds like an interesting idea. Uh, moving forward. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to kind of stick to this format for videos for a while, probably. It's just what's working and I'm enjoying it. Um, oh, big news. Big news. Uh, I should be able to print some artwork uh, in the near future. So if owning a print of my artwork is something you're interested in, uh, stick around and I will definitely be talking about that in a future video. Um, my wife and I are looking into printing our art and printing some other stuff for fun. So we're looking forward to that. Anyways, looks like we are just about done here. Uh, thanks for sticking around if you've made it this far. Um, please comment, you know, if you want to know anything about my process or anything else or just want to say hi, that'd be great. Um, you know, love to hear it. Just give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.